talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Boys, there is a situation unfolding up at the upper Colliburn Reservoir, mm-hmm. and just to refresh people at home, their memories, the Premier and the Minister for Fishing and Boating came on the show and this is what they said. We've got an opportunity, I think, to allow kayakers and other smaller craft with uh, electric motors onto a whole lot of different waterways that they're currently not allowed to be part of. Okay. Um, I have, I've got a list. Yes, this show's all about lists. So this is in the list. On my on my on my list, there's a couple that aren't here, and I want to say something about that at the end. But uh, Tullaroop, Lauriston, Hepburn, Barker's Creek, Upper Colliburn, and Malmesbury reservoirs, Mm -hmm. they'll all be uh, for those smaller craft with uh, electric motors and kayaks. We think that's just a a smart thing to do. Again, opening up access, allowing more and more families to be able to engage in spaces that really belong to them ultimately. Yeah. Um, Tarago's not on there. I know, and that's something that you and I have talked about, Devil Bend as well. We've just got a yeah. bit, little bit more consultation to go through. I'm very keen to make Tarago happen if we can. Yeah. So, Dave, we're talking you know, just over a year ago, a year and a couple of days. Yeah. Now, part of the commitment with um, Daniel Andrews and the government situation, we've had free boat ramps, which is... The Tick. Top. They're Tick. done. They're free. That's right. Yep. We've had the, uh, the netting uh, in the Gippsland area which is ticked off. Yep, ticked off today, so today. netting is going to be gone. Um, but something as simple as this upper coal mine, as far as boat access, yeah. has, he hasn't been able to deliver on it. Is th- th- there is a terrible situation unfolding up there, and I know you know, Fisheries has been trying to get it over the line, yep. the um, Minister for Water staff has been trying to get this over the line, but Coliban Water yep. just simply do not want boats on Coliban Reservoir, up at Coliban Reservoir. Who's the responsible body here that's giving the resistance? Coliban Water. Coliban Water. So they're run by a board. Now, in all fairness, there is a brand new CEO, seven days in the job. Right. Um, Fingers crossed he can do something, but we've had a video sent in to us by Mick from Malmesbury, and it's worth taking a look at. Now, let's play the video and we'll talk over it because I want to point out a couple of things in this video. Let's have a look. So this is the current access that they've allowed, right? Right. Except the gate's closed, so you can't drive your car down or take your boat down. So it's not access. Yeah, that doesn't count Well, if you can squeeze... They talk about it. They say it's access. It's not access. That's what they get. Yeah. I don't think this would pass the Premier's pub test (laughs) of access. Now, you're going to count. Let's let's count down to the lake here. So this is what you've got to carry your boat down here. So for the upper Columbine management, we, this is where we put the Benny Hill music on, do we? No, 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 yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so it, look, look, are you allowed to walk all over that area, yeah, by yeah. the way, but you're not allowed to drive down the gravel yeah. road. Yeah, it little, 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 little. Yep. clearly looks like a, a, a boat ramp. ramp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now, let's have a look at this. Yeah. Right. 129.7 metres down to the edge, right? Oh, yeah. And now this is right next to the wall, which is yep. where you don't want to fish. But there's already there's boards so, and ropes out there to stop you going near the wall. Right? Yeah. Now this is the other entry point, Premier Mine Road, which is where everybody wants to launch. Have a yeah. look at this. Right, beautiful road. Great track down. Oh, look, all the way down to the... Yeah, oh, yeah. look, a turning circle with your boat on. Yeah. Oh, someone's put rocks there so you can't get in. Oh, my God. Oh, and there's a sign there saying you're not allowed to fish, boat, you're not allowed to walk, you're not allowed to breathe there, oh. you're not allowed to do anything. Now, have a look at this, right? See those two rocks in the middle to yeah. the right there? Yeah. If you took them out... Yeah. Is that oh, there's, old, a, is there's it? a boat ramp behind it. Oh, the old access point. And look, there's two white pegs. That's where, I reckon, Upper Colliban mm. used to launch their titty oh. to go and do inspections there. The boat ramp's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All they've got to do is move the two rocks. Move a couple of rocks. So I reckon you could take your kayak up there, kayak up there pads. No dramas, well, but why do they and not want people getting plenty there? Plenty of parking and minimal damage to the lake, as yeah. it looks like this potential access point has already been utilised. Of course it has, Mick. Of course it has. Look at the great car park there. Who's Mick? So Mick from Marnsbury, he's a local yeah. there that's filmed all that. Now. Yeah, well done, Mick. What I don't get, yeah. and, I, and I think we should set a time frame, one week. One week, Colliburn Water, 
to move those two rocks, pull down your ridiculous signs that yeah. tell you about what you can't do there, and how about putting a sign up that says what you can do? Move the two rocks and let people launch their boats, and as the Premier said, tinnies with outboard motors. We're not gonna accept just kayaks. Tinnies with electric motors. That's what we want on Upper Columbus. Are there, are there any, any reasons from from them why they, they won't open it? Like, yep. They don't have to like do anything. I said at the start of the show, a six-year-old six kid, they go, <laughs> because we don't want to. Mm -hmm. They don't want to. It's ridiculous. And Mick from Marsbury actually yeah. rang me today and said that Premier Mine Road is about two kilometres from yeah. the wall, and it's like that is where all the fish be. are. Yeah, all yeah, the right. fish are at Premier Mine Road. That's where yeah. you want to fish. That's where you're, yeah. Um, to put it bluntly, he said the wall is the arse end of the lake. Well, so yeah, what, right. what would happen if tomorrow yep. I took my kayak, because I don't need a boat ramp to launch yeah. a kayak, what if I was to park where those two rocks are yep. and wheel my little kayak down yep. into the water and put in off yep. that boat ramp? Do you know what would happen? Absolutely nothing, because the Water Authority have no power to stop you from doing that. Mm -hmm. They put up all these crap signs, they have no power to stop you from doing that. So go for it. But mm. what we don't want is people discriminated against and not being allowed to put a trailer with their tinny, with their electric motor, mm. into that boat ramp. It's, it's absolutely a previously used boat ramp and they've stuck two rocks in front of it. It's not good enough. And I'll give them one week. It makes one no week sense. To it makes remove no those sense. two rocks, take their signs down. Yeah. Because I tell you what, the Premier's going to come on the show very shortly and we're going to have yeah. to ask him, mm -hmm. why is he denying access to recreational anglers at Upper Coliban River. And that's not going to be a great conversation. Got rocks in their head. There you go. Talking fishing.